Hey, man. And although this is a Nintendo Wii game, it still looks pretty beautiful, you know? The vibrant colors and the character models still look pretty solid, you know? It is good stuff indeed. Now be free, my birdie buddy, to be my, not quite servant, but, you know, have a nice bond with me, Link. We should hurry, Link. Now that your laughing is free, you should be able to fly to the ceremony. Oh boy, it's the ceremony time. But before you go, I have to ask you something. Can you please go to the uh, repair shop to change the oil on my car? That's exactly what she was going to ask, but instead they pivoted away from that because there are no cars in Zelda. Wouldn't make any sense. And she's also like, hey, do you ever wonder what's on the surface? Because apparently these Skyloft people are too high and mighty to ever go down to the surface and do whatever it is they, they need to do to a interact with the, uh, the plebeians, as it were. Um, ooh, this is really good coffee. So this is um, not Dunkin' Donuts, but I ended up getting a Starbucks coffee. Not Starbucks. I got I got a container of Starbucks coffee at the store, and I put that in there. I already had my Dunks coffee earlier, so I'm kind of playing both sides today at least. Um, I ended up getting a iced coffee that has a cookie dough uh, flavor shots in it, and it's excellent. So, so this is your loft wing here. Run your bird through the basics to make sure he's not hurt. You fly your bird in any direction. When it's heading upward, it'll slowly lose speed, kind of like this. Uh, you can also fly up using A, so that's good. Uh, ascend using this. And um, I haven't gone to any of these other little islands over here. But, like, see that island over there with the cave and whatnot? I, I, or the what looks like a castle. I'm assuming I can go over here eventually and just, you know, do whatever. Uh, Skyloft is over toward that way, and this, I'm, I'm, again, assuming that this will be a hub area for me to explore and do whatever with. Uh, I get two bursts of energy here, and I can slow down this way. I don't know why it, like, looks downward like that. That's kind of weird. Um, there's no way for me to adjust the camera angle here. It's just kind of whatever, you know? All right, so I'm going to fly over toward here. It looks like I can... And it's, like, stopping? Like, can I not go that way? Probably not, actually. Or just relocate me to Skyloft anyways. No, that's fine. That's, uh, that's good. So, eventually I'll get there. Uh, your loft wing is really and truly amazing. Oh, I know, right? Hey, brother. What's going on there, brother? If it isn't Lunkle, you can almost tell that you're ready to be, uh, destroyed in battle, brother. Zelda is no match for you. Zelda's a match for me, because I'm the best, and I do whatever it is I gotta do, brother. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it was just a really big uh, uh, ego that I have over here. Oh. That's how all bullies talk, by the way. They all talk like... <laughs> Imagine being a, a lackey goon for that guy. You know? What a, what a loser. Look, it's race time. Good luck, man. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hear ye, hear ye, as the, the jet fighters fly over Fenway Park again. I was going to say Fenway Field, because it rhymes. Well, alliteration doesn't rhyme. Yeah, Fenway, like two Fs. That's clearly just like the fighter jets. Yeah. Welcome to the celebration. That's a golden uh, cuckoo there. It was beginning to worry that you would have to proceed without Link. Absolutely not. I've attached a small statue to this bird, who I will then release to the skies on my signal. Dash from the starting line to dive off the ledge. Call your bird, and then go for the statue. All right, fair enough, man. I will try my very best to do that. To be courted, then, by the lovely Zelda. So you see the little statue attached to the golden uh, loft wing there. I'm going to fly off and do the thing. Call for my, my buddy immediately. And then, yeah, you basically just have to chase after this. Uh, let me try getting there as swiftly and as possibly as I can. Uh, you have to recharge. You basically just have to golden snitch this thing uh, as if you're in Harry Potter, you know? All right, approach over here. Come on. Come on. Get it. Nope. Of course, this guy's going to have a little bit of a issue this way. All right. Come on. One, two... You're not going anywhere, buddy. Come on. 
Come on, I'm gonna ascend a little bit more. It's actually quite an intense little uh, little battle here, you know? Come on, get it. No, what do you mean? Shooing me out of the way like that. Come on, loser. Go. Go. He's gonna try to do whatever he can to get in the way. I know it. Well, actually, no, he's like, actually, no, you can take it this time. That's fine, come on. There we go. Come on, get it. Nope. Hey, don't you know this is my day to set the glory? It is not your day to set the glory. Yeah, you heard him. Let's see how you like these eggs. Yeah, just toss eggs at me from 16 million meters away. Oh, that actually does impact me. Okay. That didn't happen the first time. A little weird. Look at look at this look at this sniping aim. Are you serious? These guys would be great on rust, man. That's intense. Come on. Right here. Right here. Right there we go. Nice. The, these guys are tossing eggs at me while riding a giant bird and defying gravity 16,000 times over. Just landing on me each and every time. That's a lot of trust Zelda has right there to uh, fly off the ledge and think that Link is actually going to catch him. Catch her. Don't worry, I'm fine. Well, that's good. I would hope you haven't crushed your legs or anything. Or the harp, or anything else. Now we better get on with the ceremony, because obviously Link does the, the very best that he can, and he was successful with everything else there. Wonderful. Big uh, goddess statue there. Hand me that bird statuette. Certainly. Do I get to keep that as a trinket to pop it in my background here? That'd be pretty sweet. Actually, I don't think I would want that. It doesn't really... You know, I'm not in love with the game yet, you know? It's just... Cool. The harp of the goddess. The harp. The harp. So beautiful. So picturesque. So romantic. Color blue really blends in with the sky of my box. Yeah, that's cool. Give me your hand. Give it to me. Great goddess, guiding light and protector of our people, grant us your blessing and mercy as I act in your steed during this ceremony. Please do. Valiant youth who grasp victory at the celebration of the bird folk in accordance with the old ways, I now bestow, bestow the blessings of the goddess upon you. I now bestow the blessing goddess upon you. Ha ha. The blessing of this goddess drift down from the heavens aloft. The Why is this? It's all this old talk, all this old English. You got the sailcloth. Now you can jump from any height without the fear of a painful landing. It smells nice too, because it was on Zelda, you freak. Like basically sniffing girl at that point, like. Oh, it smells like Zelda. Oh, mama. Like, that's a little weird. That's a weird comment for them to put in the game. I mean, I kind of extrapolated it by saying, Oh, it smells like girl. But, basically, that's what, uh, that's what the game is like saying. You know what happens at the end, right? Uh, sort of. It's a nice big kiss. Because that's how the hero is rewarded for their journey, right? Big kiss on the nose. Just like Peach does to Mario at the end of Mario 64. You have to jump off the statue. Okay. I, you know, in, in a couple different segments here, they're like, they talk about like, oh, the youth who won the tournament and whatnot. I can't tell how old Zelda and Link actually are, but okay. So I'm flying, I'm falling, and you press and hold ZR in order to use your sailcloth, and you drop right down. Actually... A lot of similarities to Breath of the Wild in that sense, too. So that's how they're probably introducing more mechanics into the game, or into the next game, Breath of the Wild 2, with having uh, the sailcloth and, you know, or as a foreshadowing, I should say. Stuff like that, you know? Looks so pretty. Looks like a uh, an oil painting. Oil. Oil. I said oil very weirdly. Whatever. This coffee's really getting to me, by the way. Really, look at how much coffee that is, man. Got to keep up that energy. It tastes really good. It's like a vanilla something. Is this supposed to be a very sentimental moment? I'm sorry. 
Am I ruining it? <laughs> Am I ruining it? By being like, man, this this manufactured Starbucks coffee is not bad. I like Dunks better. And I like Brixo Brew the best. That's my coffee. I don't promote it super often, but it's there if you want to get some. It's a thing. Today was amazing watching you win the race together and performing the ritual together. I feel like all rituals are kind of weird. It's just a weird word. We did the ritual together, Link. Hmm. You know? What's she giving that look for? You know, Link? She's actually screaming this right now because when they're up in the air, they're like screaming against the winds. There's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. My car's extended warranty. No, just kidding. It's Calamity Ganon. Oh! What's that? It's a sandstorm. That's a song, by the way. It's a it's a classic EDM song from the early 2000s. Oh, look, Zelda's just gone. Now you may think it's insensitive that I'm just like, oh, Zelda's just gone. You knew it was gonna happen. You you think Zelda's gonna sit there and be fine? Like, come on. Wait, what kind of? What kind of game franchise is this? Oh, the princess is fine every time. No, come on. You know, you know better than this. Link? Link? What? Hello. Hello there. <laughs> Professor Oak, what are you doing here? <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> I am waiting for you. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> if it was Professor Oak. <laughs> De descending, de descending from the dark void. Hello, we're gonna be catching. <laughs> I need to sleep so bad. Oh man, we're gonna catch a squirtle. That's not even Professor Oak's voice. No. Ba 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 na ba ba. Oh. It was all a dream, so I traveled back down that road. Will she come back? Only I know. I realized, hey, Zelda was just a dream. That's a song by, ooh, Nelly. I was at the top and now right about replacement number one. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a weird song. Not a weird song. It's just like a very, I don't know, catchy, whatever. So, uh, Link using his mute speech somehow vocalizes his plans to um, or rather what happened to Zelda to not King of Red Lions again I don't understand the uh, the correlation the causation there how that all works but whatever um, side tangent while he's explaining all this stuff I got this Disney shirt I really like this shirt so this is like bright neon colors, kind of like paint smear colors. I got this back when I went on vacation in 2017. I really like this. I wish I could do some, maybe. Oh, that's not a bad idea for like a, a Brix O'Brien shirt. If it was like this, but it was all different like colors and whatnot. Not like rainbow colors, but I mean, it kind of is, but it's more neon. Like a, like a 90s neon spray paint sort of deal. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe one day. Instead of, instead of promoting the Mighty Mouse, you know. Promote the mighty brick. Or whatever. Rest now, Link. Zelda can wait another time. My daughter is alive and well. I know it. I sense it in my bones. I feel it coursing through me like a rushing river of positivity and optimism. It's the best. That coffee is pretty good. It kind of tastes like uh, bagels. <laughs> 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 this is what happens when I record the same thing back to back. Hey, you. What's going on? Kind of looks like the Master Sword. Same color, same uh, same idea, you know? Uh, let's see here. Oh, you're just going to play hard to get. All right. Just like every other woman I've talked to in my life, playing hard to get, playing in these games, okay? Can never just be a simple process here, you know? Oh, it's nighttime. Never is a simple process. Like, hey, Brian, I like you. Let's go on a date. No, I'm going to lead you all through Skyloft just to make that much bigger of a deal out of it, you know? Oh, that was a long jump. Yoink. Okay. Back over here, yoink. 
Ooh, I rolled and whatnot. Hi, little buddy. A little nugget buddy. You're not evil, are you? You must be so cute. Right? I hope so. Just kidding. You're absolutely super evil. Get out of here. Stop it. Stop it. Get out of here. I don't know what your issue is. All right, child. Whatever. All right, so you can lock on to Fee this way. Uh, uh, actually, I just said what the name of the character is, Fee. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Nope. Get, get off. Get off. Oh, you actually took a heart from me. Okay. Well, that's pretty not good. 40 rupees, or 60 rupees total. Nice. Not bad. So now I can get up over toward this way, and I didn't realize before that, like, I can break free that way. So pressing B is what'll do it there. Actually, you know, I need to... Oh, wait, no, pressing A allows me to go a little bit further. Okay. So if I hop up on here and do this, I can shimmy my way over even faster. Just not on corners there. So once I go over that little corner, then I'm good. Okay, a little corner. A little corner, then I'm good. Okay, cool. Awesome. And then I can lock on over toward this way. No, get out of here. Don't need any of your nonsense, Mr. Bat. Okay, over toward here. You. Yep. Okay, nope, you're not destroying me, bat buddy. Okay, up over toward here, come on. Up and go. Do this, and you know what? Just slicing through all them, I'm pretty sure is fine. No, what is going on here? Meant to do this over toward this way, there we go. And I can leap to go a little bit further. It basically looks like a giant lime as my stamina wheel, you know? Which, is all good, and it, actually your running speed normally is not that slow anyways with Link. So that's good too. You're telling me that doesn't look like the Master Sword with the with the flakes on the side and that character there? So, I said before, spoilers, for five minutes from now, that is Fee, a character that is uh, floating. And I don't know the main gist of the character throughout the whole story, because, again, I've only played the first hour and a half, which I'm going through this a much quicker rate. Very happy about that. Instead of being like, wait, this doesn't work, this doesn't whatever, it's good. Inside the statue of the goddess. Kind of looks similar vibes to when you start out in Breath of the Wild, like when, when you're in that chamber, when you arise out of it. Similar vibe there. I somehow thought that there would be um, a correlation there, but it doesn't seem like there is. The one chosen by my creator... I've been waiting for you. You'll play a great role in this destiny. According to your social customs, I shall provide you with my personal designation, Phi. Fee? I'm pretty sure it's Fee. Uh, I must aid you in fulfilling your great journey. Come, Link. You must take this sword as it's chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. Yeah. Uh, the strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, uncertainty surrounding the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you must conclude on this journey, or, or continue to go on this journey, I should say. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. So there's some information there um, on the, the high emotional state of Link. Okay. No need to tell me that I'm severely emotional, okay? I am a well-rounded and balanced human being in almost every single shape and form, okay? None of that now, okay? Does that information invigorate you? Well, I didn't think information could make me feel invigorated, but okay. Clearly she has the shape of the Master Sword, being all pointy and then like the two sides and all that. It's just very interesting stuff. Ready stance, pull it up and point it to the sky. There we go. You have to point it all the way up, which it kind of loses its luster it not being um, motion controls with the Wii remote because you would hold it all the way up in your actual in real life, but obviously not the case here. Just pointing the control stick up. You can use the Joy-Cons, but eh, nah. Link, my master, which I'm pretty sure if you change your name in the beginning there, its designation will change. So you could put Brian, and instead of being called Link, you'd be called Brian, which I did not want to do. So yeah. Yet there was the legends here. I can't believe how much he looks like the King of Red Lions. 
It is said that this place was left to our people as secret knowledge passed down by generations and generations. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake. Uh oh. The great apocalypse. How many times is this going to happen? At first, I was seeing things here alone with the sword. I never dreamed the prophecy of this legend. Couldn't they have just taken a stick of dynamite and figured that out? Like, isn't that how, like, explorers found the ancient pyramids? You just put a stick of dynamite by what clearly looks like it could be a door, blow it up, then you go in, you know? Not that I'm, you know, inferring that you should blow up, like, the pyramids, but, like, they could have done that here, you know? That would have been fine. I mean, not really. The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddesses something. He shall be burning with the task of abolishing the shadow apocalypse from the land. With the spirit there, it shall be. And united, we shall meow meow. Some of Father's old texts talk about this place called the surface. So, I guess the people of Skyloft have no idea that there's actually a surface. For some reason, they thought... Only the floating clouds in the sky were the only thing that mattered or existed, but clearly not the case. This is no easy task, Link. The world below is a forsaken place, indeed. It certainly is. No arms? Okay. Sure. Ooh. It's a slab. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. That is the Apple iPad Air 3. Just kidding. The Emerald Tablet. Weathered surface of a heavy stone tablet feels old. So that tells you where you need to go, basically. And it looks like a section of a map, right? So let's assume there's all these different sections we got to do. So you take this. Um, I need to raise my sword using what? R? I forget. B? Oh, it's with the control stick. And you raise it high up in the sky. Gets illuminated. Slice it down, and there you go. So that's a move I didn't realize was a thing before. But you have to raise the control stick all the way up, the right control stick. Um, and that's how you do that there. So yeah, instead of using the Wii Motion controls or the Joy-Con, I'm using the right control stick. Because doing a whole bunch of this on camera would probably be a little redonkakongulous. Looks like there could be four or five sections to the area, including Skyloft, so that's interesting. And just magically and conveniently, here's a little portal to the down surface, including that giant circular conveniently placed cloud that's there too, you know? Master Link, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess separated the world you knew from the surface the tablet placed there on the altar unlocked it. I recognize you as my master. I will reside within your sword and will give you recommendations pressed by the down button. So she'll give you tips on where to go and how to do things, which is cool. Uh, but whatever it turns out to be, it seems like both you and Zelda have roles to play in this huge, massive destiny that y'all got going on. What we've seen here defies explanation, but I'm sure you're a smart kid and you got a good handle on everything there, so that's good. I will firmly shake your hand and reaffirm you of your destiny to save my daughter. And if you don't, you will perish because that is my daughter and I love her more than anything else you'll ever love in your life. A sturdy uniform will be provided for such a long journey. I certainly hope it's green and not blue like in Breath of the Wild and be, yep, okay. Which this one I actually kind of like more so than the other outfits I've seen Link in because of the chainmail underneath, which makes a lot of sense, him being a sword-wielding warrior. If you don't know what chainmail is, um, if you were familiar with knights and whatnot from, you know, way, way, long, long, long time ago, they wear chainmail underneath because that absorbs any sharp objects that could hit you. So you kind of see that idea in fencing as well. Um, not that you're stabbing someone in fencing, you're, you're slicing and whatnot, but you're not, like, poking and prodding. Um... That's basically what it's used for. So it's very nice in that way. So now that I have the traditional Link outfit, I can go about my business and get this shindig on the road here. Hey, you. What's going on, man? You coward. The uniform, you look so adventurous. Here you go. Here's an adventure pouch. And it can hold four items. Nice. Cool. 
So I can hold potions and whatnot too. That's pretty sweet. So before we actually get out of here, we do have to get some potions. We have to get a shield. We have to get a potion before we go to the first area, first segment of the world here. So lots to do and lots to explore. I'm running significantly faster now, I think. It feels that way at least. So you can unsheath your sword by uh, just pressing right on the control stick there, which kind of explains why you can't actually aim anything or you can't move the, uh, the camera, I should say, right? So let's say I move down over toward this way. Um, oh, hi, Fee. The column of light has appeared to the south of the location and signs indicate that it created an opening in the cloud barrier below. Cool. So I need to find a shield and potions before I actually get out of here. First thing I'm going to do is get the potions, which you can get in the bazaar, which this bazaar looks very bizarre and very cool in general. So Love over here is like, hey, um, you need an empty bottle. Let me give you one, which acts as a way for you to host potions and whatnot. There's all different potions you can examine over toward here. This one I actually got before. Uh, for 30 rupees, you can get a four heart healing potion. So that's cool. Uh, and I'm assuming I'll get more empty bottles to host more potions eventually. But for right now, there's that. Sparrot here looks like a fortune teller, which I'm sure is incredibly helpful. But for now, I'm going to pass on that. I don't think I'll need to have my fortune read quite yet. Eventually, maybe one day, but not right now. I need to find the person or entity that can give me a shield, right? That would be also important. Hopefully, maybe. This kid over here is just minding his own business. There's a bell hanging from the shop, and I hear if you ring it, Beetle will stop by for you and pick you up. Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Um... Let me see with Fee here, actually. You call for me a master? Objective. Okay. Uh, to search for Zelda, I recommend you dive into the Column of Light. Oh. Current playtime is 50 minutes, so I'm definitely saving a little bit of time from where I was before. That's cool. Not that it's all about saving time or whatnot, but, you know, keep those sorts of things in mind. So, I can pretty much dive, I think, off of any segment here and be okay. Uh, but there's all these different areas to Skyloft that you can explore. Maybe more areas will open up over time. I don't actually know. Can I get anything from doing this? Like, okay, so I can't actually... I thought for some reason I could, like, insert the sword and go, but no. Um, there was a shield around here somewhere. I, I know someone gave it to me, but I know you can buy one in the bazaar as well. So let me actually go over to the bazaar and see if I can find or buy one. This guy? No. Usually the people that have something very important to say have a golden or yellow bubble above their head. So that's cool. You see the shield right here. Hey, man. Uh, it's a wooden shield against attacks there. Uh, 50. What? How many? How many? Oh, my. You don't have any? Okay. Well, I guess I don't have enough for the shield. That's cool. But what I'm going to do anyways, I, if I can fly off of here, I guess I'm just going to fly off and... Go about the journey, you know? Let me save on this column right here. Because I can. Save to a file right there. Now it's only 2.15. Another half hour's worth of progress. Excellent. But yeah, that's the beginning of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Take number two. Successful take number two. And yeah, the next time I see you, I guess I'm going to head into the Column of Light. And hope that I can actually go there. Instead of being stopped about some wooden shield or something. I don't want to have to find... Um, more rupees, but yeah. Um, is that my bird buddy flying around over there? It'd actually be kind of cool. You can click into the click into which control stick? Is it which one? I forget. You can nope, not that one. Um, one of these I can actually yeah, right here. So you can actually see in first person. It looks like um just a couple birds flying around. Nice. So they kind of just lurk around and do whatever. Nice. So that's a graveyard. I'm going to see you in the next episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm going to fly off of here and go to the first area, which is uh, right over there. So thank you for listening, watching, tuning in, and meowing it out with me as always. I'll see you again next time for more Zelda. All right? Bye. Bye.